Hello everyone, it's Christmas week and I hope everyone out there gets a chance to spend time with family and friends in a few hours away from our crazy industry that we're in. This week is going to be a super simple and short one, but as always, it's important. We're going to talk about Fannie and Freddie's requirements for maximum income allowed for a borrower that has no history of receiving income and the borrowers departing their current primary and converting it to a rental property. So let's dive in. Fannie and Freddie's is the exact same when it comes to this guideline. The borrower must currently own a primary residence to use rental income to qualify when purchasing a new rental property in the current calendar year. In such instances, net rental income can only offset the principal interest taxes and insurance and when applicable mortgage insurance premiums, leasehold payments, homeowners association dues, and payments on secondary financing of the new rental property. I know the first bulletin does not talk about the departing primary, but I feel as it is important for everyone to know that if the borrower does not currently own a primary home and they are buying an investment house, that the borrower can only use the net rental income to offset the payment. If the borrower's current primary residence is being converted to a rental property, net rental income can only offset the full monthly payment of the primary residence. The second bulletin point is exactly what I'm talking about. If the property is departing, converting rental property, you cannot use the full lease agreement amount. You can only offset the payment. If the rent income exceeds the full monthly payment of the new rental property or the converted primary residence as applicable, the excess rental income cannot be added to the borrower's gross monthly income to qualify unless the filed documentation determines the borrower has a minimum of at least one year investment property management experience. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. I know this week was super short, but I feel like a lot of mortgage professionals end up missing this one. For more content like this, please make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. And see you guys next week.